current owners, they're just not doing what needs to be done to put this parcel into productive use. Now at 11, the city of Columbus stepping in to fix the neglected Eastland Mall, hoping to change the course of its future. The current owners are now facing six figures in court fines for code violations. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Yolanda Harris. Andrew's off tonight. Columbus City Attorney Zach Klein calls the mall a problem property and says the current owners are doing nothing to change it. TNTV's Carly Dion joins us in studio tonight with more on the top story. Carly? Yolanda, it's been more than a year and a half since city officials shut down Eastland Mall, declaring it a public nuisance. As daily $1,000 fines continue against the property owners, the city is now looking to take further action. The current owners, they're just not doing what needs to be done. Columbus City Attorney Zach Klein says Eastland Mall's property owners now owe more than $200,000 in fines after months of neglecting to address code violations. We have fire issues, we have potential asbestos issues, uh, you know, there could be potential structural issues. There's, we did have problems uh, dealing with crime. There are also concerns that some of these violations could also be impacting students attending summer camp at its bordering charter school, Eastland Preparatory Academy. I don't want to jump to conclusions but I do think it's safe to say that you know we need to make sure that we're running the right tests, air quality, water, asbestos exposure, whatever potentially could be done uh, or could be exposed there. Now, Klein says they're looking to take over the property so that they can appoint a receiver to make the necessary changes. Which essentially means to get it out of the hands of the current owners and try to get it into someone's hands who will fix up the property, get it ready for sale. It would then be sold to a developer. So much potential exists for the redevelopment of that site that is really key to the future of the east side. Klein says the focus would be to address some of the city's needs in that area. You know, how can we you know, put our heads together with the right developer uh, and do something that, that brings housing, mixed use, sports, entertainment, really what the community wants. City zoning officials previously told 10TV the area is zoned for commercial use and could suit most businesses except for a car wash, gas station, or drive-in theater. Residential space could also work as long as it's placed above a business, not at ground level. But nothing can move forward until city officials get their hands on it, begging the question. How do you leverage the fine and penalties so that we can get the property turned into productive use? Klein says those daily fines will continue until the owners step up or until the city is able to take over. We'll continue to keep you updated on this as we learn more. Carly Dion, 10TV News.